Hi, and welcome to this session on what's new in Business Central, Power BI Embedded Reports and Power BI Reporting. My name is Brian Nielsen. I'm a program manager in the Business Central team. In this release, uh, in the next minor uh, first, you will see that we have new Power BI reports enabling uh, reporting on your Business Central data in Power BI. With Power BI, you will, of course, when you install apps, you get apps in Power BI, but we also embedded those reports in within Business Central so that you can access them directly from within Business Central. It requires a bit of setup or configuration, very little, and there's learning content, docs content, describing how you set up, of course, but also each of the 76 reports that are in there in total, describing what the report is about and how you would usually navigate, filter, and, and use the reports. And later on in one of the next miners, uh, we will provide more demo data so it's easier to demonstrate all the capabilities that Power BI is offering. Let's take a closer look before we look at the product. The Power BI uh, apps, once you have installed them, will be embedded uh, within Business Central, meaning that you can access them uh, through role centers or actions in the uh, uh, role explorer and get a one page per report uh, from the app. Later on, you'll be able to select specific visuals. Enrico and Blasia has a separate um, session on the Power BI embed that you can also watch if you want to do your own embedding from Power BI. There's a, a, a piece of uh, setup that you need to do. You need to pick the right uh, apps for the right set of reports, uh, and you do that from within BC. For the finance report, there is some setup for account categories, so you get all of your financial KPIs, right? But it's, it's straightforward, and there's even a wizard to take you through it uh, the first time you do it. Um, here we have the account categories that you need for your financial KPIs. There are some defaults, but if you're running your own chart of accounts, or if you have even uh, added your own account categories, you might want to modify this. You can access the new Power BI reports through the role centers, where we have added them to like we have added the relevant report for the relevant role centers. Um, if you need to find specific ones or the first time where you just want to browse through all of it, you can access all 76 reports through the role explorer, either by searching Power BI or for the specific report. When you open a report and hit the question mark to get help, you will see that there is a mini help in the help pane, it will give you a brief explanation of what the report is about. And then in the release, when we release, we will take you through a separate page for each of the report describing what the report is about, what data is behind it, and what you can do with the filtering and what it's supposed to show you uh, with your data. And then, of course, uh, related or additional resources, we will uh, link you to the new uh, analytics content that we have provided in Docs. But let's uh, take a look at how this looks like uh, in Business Central. So here I have Business Central, and uh, I want to take a look at the new Power BI reports. I can go to uh, the Role Explorer. I can try and search for Power BI. It will give me all the results, and I can start scrolling down and pick one of them. Um, it's a good place to start if you just want to browse through the different uh, reports. Let's take the balance sheet. It is one of the reports in the Finance app, and it's embedded here in BC, connected to my data. We'll get to the connection in a few seconds. You can see I started my year in July. It ends in June. It has it all. I can click on this one or right click it and say uh, show next level, which will expand the um, balance sheet and, and uh, show me more data. If I need to dig into uh, one of the items like finished goods, goods for September, I can right click it and drill through. And in this case, I would pick the balance sheet uh, drill through 
because it comes from the balance sheet and I have my data here. Actually, this balance sheet drill through um, table is in a separate report. You can also access it uh, directly if you want or if you need to. And of course, you have some filtering if you need to do some filtering to either troubleshoot, validate data or any other thing. Let's go back to, to this one. So I have my balance sheet here. I found the report in the role explorer. Uh, if I really want to use it every day, I probably want to bookmark it and then I will have it in my role center where I can use personalization to move it around in my navigation or in my nav pane. Let's close this one. Okay, and you can see that I put in the financial overview, which is a different report showing me KPIs. Uh, I can also, in these reports, in most of them, I can uh, either um, expand it a bit, or there are some of the reports where, uh, if it's meaningful, I can drill through to the uh, underlying data. There are uh, some filters that I can apply. Uh, in this year, when I'm looking at a financial overview, I probably want to only look at the current year. I'll scroll a bit down, 24. And then I will just see my data for the current year. And of course, it's Power BI, it will remember my uh, setting. And let's take uh, another look at one of the uh, sales overview. The sales overview will give you uh, KPIs for, for sales. Um, some more details in some of them. And again, you have filtering over here. So let's look at the setup that you will go through. In order to set up these reports, and we will uh, either notify you, um, or uh, if you see the blog post, we will take you through uh, to uh, Power BI App Source, where you will install the apps, just like any other apps in App Source. In Power BI, when you install apps, they will just, um, the first uh, thing you will be asked about is where, in what workspace do you want to install it? You can either add them to an existing workspace if you want to, or you can create a new one like I have done here, Business Central, and then uh, I will put all my apps in here. Currently, the apps are per company. Uh, so if I want to run Power BI on multiple um, Business Central companies, I can either create a separate workspace for each of the companies, or I could duplicate um, or reinstall the app. Like I need to install the app once for each company that I have in the current implementation. So I have my apps here, they're in a Business Central workspace. So in Business Central, the first time you select um, a Power BI report, or if you actually go to the Power BI chart in, um, in the role center where we have Power BI chart, you will be um, uh, prompted with a wizard that takes you through the setup. In this case, we'll just say yes, we want to go through it. The first thing you will have to select is how or what calendar do you want to use, the, the regular calendar calendar or your fiscal calendar that is based off of your accounting periods or a weekly calendar, maybe if you're on retail or, or other. And I just need to select it. Um, I can select uh, weekdays, I can select um, time zone, and I can select, we have defaulted to three years of data, like for comparison year over year, and maybe having some historical data for the, uh, the time series charts and analysis, but you can, you can modify it if you want to. You can also select the holidays, uh, if you have any uh, reports that, where that is relevant. And the last page uh, we ask you for uh, input is, and I filled it in because I've been there already, but if you're starting from, from a, a new company, this would be blank, and you would, for each one of them, each of the seven uh, apps, you would pick the workspace where you have put the app, select it, and then you would pick the relevant app. And then um, the pages will refer to the the reports uh, in that app. And the same you could go through invoice, uh, sorry, inventory has 
uh, two different apps that it needs if you want them. You don't have to fill in all of them at once. You can just start with finance or you can start with sale just to see how it goes if you want to. And of course, you can. it's a assisted setup um, or wizard, so you can run it uh, after you've, you've closed it and maybe add more apps as you go. Um, the wizard will pick up your environment, some demo environment I have here, and the company name. And that will be inserted into the semantic model in Power BI um, so that it knows where to fetch the data. If you need to, uh, and when you're copying stuff around in, in Power BI or if, if you're setting it up manually, you can actually go to the semantic model in Power BI and then insert these parameters. But it's much easier to do it through the connector. So now I have set up um, my Power BI apps. Uh, I can find them in the role explorer. Um, hopefully the, the default will work for the financial reports. But if I need to, I can go into Power BI connector. And I can either go through the connector because I can revisit my setup there. Um, I can pick the general uh, stuff and then I can pick the specific for each of the the apps. I can select the apps and I can select some dates for, for the data that will be retrieved. For the finance report, I need to set up some account categories. So I need to do a proper mapping because as you saw with the Power BI, uh, sorry, the financial overview uh, report, it produces some KPIs. Those KPIs are based on uh, categories of your or categorization of your data. And in order to have that correct, you need to set up a mapping. So on the left-hand side, this is what Power BI uh, uses to calculate these uh, different KPIs, quick ratio, cash ratio, uh, and so forth. And you will just, um, you can either pick the default or you can go in, let's say, I remember I did this, liquid asset. Maybe you have a category and you're just using Maybe you're just using the cash category. Maybe you have multiple cash categories, or maybe you have something that you would also consider liquid asset that you want to go into uh, the KPIs for that, and you can just add it here. So, so these two elements, picking the apps that you installed and setting up the account categories for uh, the finance report is all you need to do to set it up and then you're ready to start using Power BI reporting embedded in Business Central. So, once you get started with Power BI reporting, you probably won't be able to stop, but there will be more. Um, in one of the coming releases, minor releases, hopefully the second one, we will add demo data so that um, when you run on your own Business Central tenant, or your own environment, you'll be able to spin up a company add that demo data, and then start using the reports, where you will have a, a rich set of financial data, uh, project data, fixed assets data, and then some of the other modules will, will come later, so that you can start um, demonstrating, exploring uh, Power BI reporting without having to connect to your production environment. So much better uh, demo data for Power BI reporting. We will extend the uh, setup apps we have, the seven apps we have, with a, an app for subscription billing. So that will Power BI will be embedded as reporting there too. And we will also get one for sustainability, we'll get one for fixed assets, uh, and then more of the other modules will come in later versions. In this release, because we're still making a few changes um, to the uh, apps, we, um, we keep it to ourselves, but from the next release, which means uh, release 26, which is April, uh, we will open source the report files, like the, the Power BI X, PBX uh, files that you will be able to access from uh, GitHub. That means that you can take the file and put a different color on it, add more uh, data if you want, and if you have access to more data, you can combine it with other sources, you can create your own reports, uh, and you can completely uh, rearrange it the way you want. But you will have a starting point 
uh, for each of these apps, which maybe bring you uh, fast forward to, to, to have your own Power BI reporting. So with that, go and explore in the next minor release when it's out there. And thank you for watching this session. <laughs>